In a closed system, heat is transferred directly from one material to another with no losses to the surroundings. Obviously, this isn't realistic. In real life, there is no such thing as a perfectly closed system and heat is lost. But if we use this generalization, if we use this assumption, we can do a number of heat transfer calculations where we can actually track the heat that gets transferred from one material to another. And we can see the effect that has on things like temperature change or mass. As an example, what we can do is we can consider adding 50 grams of 50 degrees Celsius iron to 100 grams of room temperature water. So we're taking the hot metal iron and we're dumping it into room temperature liquid water. And after we wait for these temperatures to equilibrate, the water temperature is 23 degrees Celsius. And we want to know what was the initial room temperature. So what we can do is we can recognize that the water had to warm up. The water went from a cooler room temperature to a warmer temperature because hot metal was placed inside it. And what we can do is we can say that the amount of heat that left the iron all went into the water. That is all of the heat energy that iron lost water had to gain. So we can use that Q equals MC delta T calculation to track the amount of heat. What we do is we say initially the heat that came out of the iron is 50 grams times the specific heat capacity of iron which is 0 0.45 joules per gram degree Celsius times the delta T which in this case is the change from initially hot at 50 degrees to the equilibrium temperature of 23 degrees Celsius. So 50 degrees Celsius minus 23 degrees Celsius. And now we have a series of numbers that we can multiply together and we can get our heat transferred out of the iron. So the, so the amount of heat transferred from the iron is equal to 6.1 times 10 to the 2 joules. This is the heat transferred from the iron. And if this heat was transferred out of the iron, it all had to be transferred into the water. So we now know the Q for the water. The Q for the water is equal to 6.1 times 10 to the 2 joules. It all had to leave the iron and it all had to go into the water. So we know that the amount of heat that was transferred was 6.1 times 10 to the 2 joules and the water weighed 100 grams, and the water's heat capacity is 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius, and the water temperature changed. Initially it was cooler, and its final temperature was warmer. So if we say 23 degrees Celsius minus the room temperature, we'll have a positive value, which is good because our heat transfer value, our heat, is also a positive value. And what we can do is we can rearrange this part of the expression and we can solve for RT, the room temperature. And we end up finding that room temperature is 21.5 degrees Celsius.